Hi everybody and welcome back to another video on the Toon Review YouTube channel where this morning of course Eddie Howe has spoken to the media ahead of the uh, Fulham game at the weekend and massive news for Newcastle United signing officially Garan Kowal and this is just an incredible signing for Newcastle United one of the biggest wonder kids going in the game at the moment teams like Barcelona etc we've beaten off for his signature and it's come out of the blue this morning really uh, suddenly the photos etc of him in the dressing room and around the ground uh, just fantastic news for Newcastle United so we'll come on to that in just a second but as usual guys if you do enjoy today's video hit that like button for us it does help us move up the search results on YouTube and more exposure for the channel and if you're new and you like what you see please do hit that subscribe button become part of this tune review family if you like everything newcastle united this is the channel to be at and also the notification bell which will let you know when we go live or we upload right onto the video guys and as i said earlier then the intro garan kowal is now officially a newcastle united footballer um brilliant brilliant news this it's absolutely massive to think that to think that newcastle united and now have the power to beat off the likes of barcelona etc to a player's signature of this caliber now we've seen him on youtube etc we've seen him play against barcelona of course in pre-season and this guy is a talent and a lot of top clubs around the world were looking at this guy. Um, but he is a Newcastle United player. The pictures are all on there to see on uh, on social media. Um, but uh, we've got one quote from him from his interview. Uh, you can watch the full interview, obviously, on the Newcastle United website. But uh, this is what he said. As a young boy in Australia, the Premier League is the main thing everyone watches, but no one actually thinks they can reach those heights. Uh, to be one of those people in this position I'm in right now is amazing. Um, so... Whether he goes out on loan, I don't know how Newcastle United are going to work this. Obviously, we'll find that out in uh, in the future. But the fact that he's now under the Newcastle United umbrella, he is officially a Newcastle United player. We own him. We have got him. And beaten off some absolutely massive clubs to this guy's signature. So, well done to Newcastle United behind the scenes as well. And good luck to uh, Garan Kowal at Newcastle United. I'm sure this guy is going to be a massive hit and get bums off seats as soon as he gets the ball expecting things to happen this guy has got skill he's got pace can't wait to see him in action really can't so fantastic news for Newcastle United this morning confirming the signing of Australian wonder kid Garan Kowal now on to Eddie Howe uh, and his press conference and of course he started off with the signing of Garan Kowal and he said he's a young uh, player of huge potential it shows where the club wants to go in terms of signing young players and trying to develop them in our system for them to be Premier League players in the future uh, he's had a dramatic rise and he's in a position that excites everybody uh, but there needs to be some patience shown uh, we need to look after him and he'll go out on loan to learn and develop behind the scenes and hopefully when he comes here he can play a part in our future so there you go um, Eddie Howe's actually confirmed there that he will be going out on loan as we probably expected uh, there was a lot of talk uh, when we agreed the deal in principle that he would go out on loan and learn his trade uh, somewhere possibly in Europe uh, that hasn't been said yet where he'll go but I, I would assume he'll have to wait till January before we can send him out on loan so uh, it is incredible news and of course what I like about what Eddie Howe has said there is again patience you know we, we will work with him and we know the Newcastle United have signed a lot of kids in well since the summer and are building for the future which is massively exciting for us as fans to, to, to have a club that's actually now shown ambition not just now but in the future as well which is incredible from where we've come from so well done again to the, 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 the coaching staff and uh, hopefully they'll look after him and he'll come back from his loan spell ready to go. Uh, now on Bruno Gramerez, um, he says we are cons we were concerned for him, uh, but he's come back and the scan was good. Uh, he's trained and he's trained well. Uh, it's slightly disrupted him because these two weeks were important for his match sharpness, but he's physically fine and in the squad for tomorrow. Now, I think he'll play. Um, I've got no doubt about that. If he's trained and trained well, as Eddie said there, there's no doubt in my mind that uh, Bruno will play tomorrow. So that's very, very, very good news that we're going to see Bruno. Uh, now, on Alexander Isak... He said he picked up an injury training with Sweden, but the scan doesn't look too bad. Uh, we're not overly concerned it's a long injury. Uh, with any muscle injury, there's a period where you have to be careful. He's out running on the grass and is looking good. Now, 
I wouldn't take that as uh, anything for tomorrow. I don't think he'll be involved against Fulham at all. Um, but it might not be as bad as we thought that he would miss the Brentford and the Manchester United games, as was reported earlier in the season. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that's not going to be the case. And we see Isak on the pitch earlier than expected. If he's out running on the grass now, that can only be good news for us. Um, now on Maxi, uh, he said he's doing well. He's had a period away, but he's come back and he's close. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts with us at the moment. I'm being vague, but that's because there are a few situations that are unclear going into the game. Alan is one of them. Uh, so again, as usual, uh, and we've seen this many, many times in Eddie Howe's press conferences, uh, he doesn't give anything away. He's he's very, very coy about who's fit, who's not fit. Uh, he'll say who's in the squad, who's not in the squad, but that doesn't mean that they're going to be on the pitch come three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So again, very, very coy, but it, it sounds positive for Maxi. Uh, but again, we have options if he doesn't start, and that option, and I said that last night in the uh, in the preview show, that I would love to see Elliot Anderson given a shot. If Maxi can only make the bench, start Elliot, give him an opportunity. You know, you've got Maxi on the bench, probably even Fraser on the bench as well. So the risk is not massive playing Elliot Anderson, and especially given how talented this kid is. Um, and uh, on Callum Wilson, of course, uh, another one who's been out for a long time. He says, Callum has trained. He's trained for around 10 days with us now and is in a good place. Every time he comes back from injury, he does the work and doesn't cut corners. Uh, he's put a lot of work in with the sports science team too, so he's looked good. So I've got no doubt about it that Callum Wilson will start the game tomorrow. He has to because we've got no other strikers fit. Um, but it's a big game for Callum and it's a big period of time for Callum as well because if Callum Wilson gets fit and stays fit and scores goals, that World Cup is just round the corner and we've always said you know all Newcastle United fans have said just keep him fit and this guy will score goals if Callum can stay fit instead of these stupid little niggly injuries he's got a big chance because he's a, he's one of the best strikers in in the country and a lot of pundits have said that you know not just me as a biased Newcastle United fan a lot of pundits have said that so let's see Let's see. Uh, but it's good for Callum to be back. Now, on Chris Wood, he says he came off the, uh, with a rib problem for New Zealand. He took a knock. He's another player we'll make a late decision on. So he's not necessarily out. Uh, personally, you know, if it's a rib issue, I, I can't see him making it. Um, you know, th there's no point risking. Uh, but again, uh, we'll see how the uh, the, the, the doctors, etc., uh, look at that. Now, finally, on the next run of games uh, for Newcastle, he says it's a key spell for us. The first seven games have been very, very positive in lots of aspects of our play, but maybe not in terms of the points delivery and the amount of games we've won. Uh, we have to be mindful of that. Uh, we want to win. We're desperate to win. Uh, we're desperate to achieve great things, but we have to be careful we don't overreact to the fact we haven't won the games that we wanted and not veer off track. Ultimately, we know what we're judged on, and we have to turn draws into wins. Uh, so for me... Eddie's saying there, and I think it's a message to the fans as well from Eddie, is saying just be patient, you know, it's, it, it will come. Um, they're mindful that the, you know, they haven't turned the draws into wins, which is very frustrating because it would put us a lot higher up the league table than what we've been. And of course, with only one game won this season, which was the opening game against Forest, I don't think Eddie was expecting that either, to be honest, and neither were we as fans. But again, um, you know, just a message out to the fans, let's not overreact. We haven't won the games we are on track. We are where we want to be. Eddie's in a good place with the squad. So let's put our faith in Eddie and let's move forward and see how far we can rise up this table this season. So for me, a very, very, very positive press conference. It really was. Um, but there you go. Let me know in the comments what you think of what Eddie Howe has had to say this morning. And are you excited by the new signing, Garan Kual? For me, it's an incredible signing. It's very, very exciting. Uh, this guy has come with bags and bags of positivity from the fans in Australia who've seen this guy play. And it can only be exciting for us. Uh, but as usual, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And of course, if you're new to the channel, please, how about hitting that subscribe button for us? It is free to do so. Become part of the family on the Toon Review and uh, get everything you need about Newcastle United right here on this channel. Uh, and of course, the notification bell, which will let you know when we go live or we record a video like this one today. But thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video, guys. Enjoy your Friday. Take care.